Hello everyone, this is Boshe, the Electric Israeli, and thank you for joining my channel. If you're new, please subscribe and help me change the world one electric car at a time. Thank you to all of my patrons and my subscribers and those who use my Tesla link to buy their own Tesla. And today we're going to talk about a topic that is on the news almost every day for the last three days, and that is the Tesla truck and uh, all the announcements that uh, Elon Musk made on the podcast discussion that he had. Anyway, here's what he said, and I'm going to give you my take of what the, te the future Tesla truck must have. I'm going to call it the must-have things in the Tesla truck. Okay, so here's what Elon Musk said. This is not my opinion, it's his. He said that the Tesla truck is going to be uh, 50000 or less, even 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 mentioned 49,000 or less. It's gonna have crazy torque, whatever that means. It's gonna be better than the Ford F-150. Now, why Ford? Because it's the most popular uh, truck uh, sold. Uh, it's gonna have dynamic suspension, which is very interesting, uh, to adjust to road conditions and to the load of on the car. It's gonna have an outlet for power tools uh, it's going to have crazy ability of towing capacity and it's going to be introduced late summer and maybe a year and a half, two years from now, production probably after the model uh, Y is going to be produced. Now, here's what I think it's going to be. Now, let's talk about the price first. He said less than 49,000, let's say less than 50,000. The cheapest uh, Ford F-150 you can get is less than 30,000. So it's going to, even the base model, quote unquote, is going to be extraordinarily more expensive. So obviously this will not be for everyone. It'll be just for those who can afford a $50,000 car, okay? Uh, second, what I think it should have, um, functionality. It has to be extremely function, functioning and practical. Uh, I, how many uh, uh, rendering and drawing of uh, the Tesla truck you saw? They're all beautiful, but they have to be practical. The flatbed has to be practical with a lot of room. Uh, the cabins, everything has to be practical for somebody who wants to buy a truck like this and make it uh, for his work, for his job, if he's a contractor and things like that, because that's what most people would use it for. Uh, traveling has to be practical, all right? Uh, if it's less than 50,000, which is expensive to begin with, it has to have a very uh, reasonable, I call, and also functional uh, range. I do not foresee, and it has to have at least 250 miles, because remember, once you load it and once you tow it, it requires a lot of energy, so you, you, you lose a lot of range, winter not to mention. So it has to have a very good range, and I say 250 is the gold standard for that. Uh, and it has to have, and that I think it will, a great performance. I mean, this truck will be amazingly performing. Uh, and again, tied tie to the, to the um, uh, range, it has to uh, uh, you know, have um, enough range to uh, perform and still take you uh, far away, so to speak. And of course, fast charging and all that, that you can expect, not a problem. Now, <clears throat> I'm sure you're gonna have all of this and the 70 or 80,000 model with 500 miles. But if we're talking about the masses, the masses, uh, you know, the masses is 30 to 40,000. This is already going to be more. So you are cutting out a lot of people in the middle. So therefore, for the 50,000 or less, it has to have a, a, a fabulous range uh, and all these performances in order for it to be um, something that people would want to uh, uh, would want to buy. Now, uh, as far as uh, competitors is concerned, I think at the beginning it will compete with what Rivian is going is bringing. Rivian is beautiful, and Ford F one fifty electric that is going to come. I think it's going to be in that echelon. Uh, you know, there you can buy a, a pickup truck, a single cabin for twenty something thousand dollars. I mean people will still buy those. So it's not competing with that. It's going to compete with the, the, the high end. So the high end has to have, has to have such great 
features and functionality that uh, uh, it's going to make it. Oh my God, I have to, I have to, I'm going to stretch and get that. If it's going to give me so many more miles and so many more uh, ability to tow and to load and performances and all that stuff, yes, I'm going to do that. Cannot be the same uh, like uh, the, the cheap gasoline uh, counterpart. You understand? So that's why I think. Uh, it's gonna be that's where I think it's gonna be let me know what you think it's go it should have thank you guys for watching and I'll see you tomorrow